leader of the armed terrorists, has published a statement to the world. It turns out the leader is Casper Cohen, the guy who lost his job as chief military officer of Werner after the space weapon scandal. Cohen has executed the nine kidnapped Greymen, claiming they've manipulated UN and international policy after the Ulysses disaster, so the elite could profit off of other people's misery. He also announced the establishment of an independent Federation of Usia, a nation of Ulysses refugees that runs from the Eastern EU all the way to the Asian Federation. Here's what he said in his statement. 20 years after the Ulysses disaster, our refugees have faced untold pain and suffering. Even now, the fragments of Ulysses still lurk near our planet in the form of near-Earth objects. There is every chance they could rain down upon us again in the future, thus repeating the tragedy of Ulysses. All of mankind must come together now to deal with this crisis. And yet, for the past 20 years, the United Nations has been weakened by the great and powerful nations of the world. To deal with this sad state of affairs, we, the so-called lost generation of young refugees, must create a new order to replace the ailing UN. We must form a new, powerful, united front to save our planet from oblivion. That's the end of it. It's all a bunch of propaganda, of course. But they're using Werner's military facilities in Ayuli to build up their forces and create defense perimeters in all the continent's major cities. They're working far too fast for this to be the work of terrorists alone. They're likely working in tandem with at least a few nations. The UN shuffled their feet for too long, and now they're paying for it. Yuzia, another page of history unfolds. Let's take a look at some more history. Once, there was a massive nation known as the Mongol Empire. Oops, time to deploy again, I suppose. Another time, perhaps. <laughs> All here? Good. In order to block the invasion of the so-called Yuzian army, the UN has decided to stage a large-scale campaign across multiple Eurasian defense perimeters. They'll be conducting simultaneous ops in two areas, the Persian Gulf and the Far East. They invited Arrows to be a part of this effort. You'll be departing for Tokyo shortly. The scale of this campaign is massive, encompassing multiple land, sea, and air operations on both sides. It'll be a punishing battle, but if you want to get your name out there, there's no better opportunity to do it. Make sure your aircraft is as battle-ready as you can make it. I want to see us dominate in this fight. Dismissed. Jeez, this city's built like a maze! 
they can take care of themselves. Folks like you and I were just here to give them a little shove now and then when they need it. How am I supposed to ever retire if these guys can't fend for themselves, huh? Retire, you? Come on, you know you'll be back up here once you gamble away all your savings again. Ah, shut up. Sounds like your girl over there can't wait to get into a scrap, though. I'm surrounded. Fire! Hostile fire! We're losing ground! Damn it! Stand your ground! Our air forces are pushing the back! As long as they're up there, we're not retreating! Banded down. Locked on. Fox 3. Nice kill. Fire.
One gun swing your sight ought to do it. We got hostiles on our trail. I think I see the Reaper coming through. Great job, guys. That Moby Dick was a giant airborne command ship developed by a certain nation's military. Basically, in an attempt to cut down the number of aircraft they had to deploy, they decided to over-engineer this gigantic flying beast of a battleship. Also, the UAV lasers we saw on the butterflies are equipped with a visual ID function that can recognize pilots by their flight helmets and strike as necessary. It automatically activates when they get close. A merciless weapon of murder. Watch out for it. The Butterfly Master's craft is apparently a re-engineered CFA-44. But we're still investigating the details. Ugh. Anyway, thanks to your hard work, the enemy force has taken serious damage. Unfortunately, so have we. Tokyo area is nearby the enemy's Far East battle perimeter. It'll be a hot zone for a while to come, I imagine. We're all in for a long, tough slog here. Anyway, I was hoping we could have a celebration slash retirement party for Viper. The UNFHQ has yet another deploy order for us. You guys just rest up for now. I'm gonna go have the top brass yell at me for a bit. Again, good job. Everyone here? A lot of you probably haven't met before, but just listen up for now. In preparation for the battle against the Yuzian army, the UNF has requested that Arrows join them as a regular force. Arrows have agreed to this request. As a result, all Arrows units are hereby disbanded. You'll be regrouped into Task Force 118, Arrow Blades, an independent assault force under direct military staff committee command. I will continue to serve as commander. Air squadrons affiliated with the regular force will also be disbanded and regrouped. Edge and the Ridgeback flight will join the Arrow Blades as well. In addition, Proven mercenaries and privateers from a multitude of countries will be joining our force. We may no longer be a UN independent command, but we will still receive rewards for our performance as before. We're now launching Operation Eternal Liberation, a military op covering all defense lines across Eurasia. If you're new here, let me make one thing straight. If you're the top earner, you get first priority over everyone else. You want money? You want fame? Then you're gonna have to outdo our ace here. Twenty-four hours until reactivation. What? Ah, oh, that's no fun. Please be patient, Master. Next! 
fighter squadron taking off from South America. They're flying toward U.S. territory. You will meet in Area B-7R in Nevada Wasteland. Got you, Ribbon. Uh, 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 There's something new on radar. Fire! 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 I had my fill of this sight 20 years ago. We have some time before deployment. Make sure your craft's fully prepared for combat.